So yeah, man, can you come around, uh, come around to the side? I'm working. On? Oh, you are. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was that just over there. So that, that's. So that's. Oh, was, I'll be back. <laughs> you didn't fly off the edge, did you? So I'm waiting for that to happen. You know that, right? Uh, off the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Arc Aberration here on the Geeks Patreon server with me, Unite the Clans. Welcome. Our farm is coming together. This video is coming out after my usual Saturday live stream in which we will be working on this mega barn. So be sure to swing over to the channel and check out the replay if you missed it. And remember to join us on Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Uh, that is a routine we have kept up for a very long time and it ain't changing anytime soon. We build every Saturday morning. So join for that. And our farm is coming together, guys. That is the big barn. This is the farmhouse. This is the silo. What is this? What is this, you say? Well, this is the shed. This is a mini version of the big barn. And if you hang out in today's video, we can build this thing together. I wanted to work out some of the design details. I wanted to work out some of the final touches before bringing this uh, to the big barn. And I think we did a great job. So hang out for today's video, guys, and let's build a little red barn. I love it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. So last episode, we showed people like the mini barn shed thing and at the end of it I was like we should definitely build that uh, and then you and I got talking and I thought leaving the rest of this building project for a Saturday live stream might make sense yeah it's definitely. gonna be it's gonna be like it's gonna be a little bit uh, we're gonna be working on it for a while I think just due to the sheer size of the thing right <laughs> yeah um, so yeah. Uh, so I thought for today's video for my my episode 3 here on the geek server maybe we build like the small version of that barn a nice self-contained one video where we show off how to build a small kind of American style barn with the S plus stuff so we just have to yeah. figure out where it is the foundation size I have in mind I think we're gonna be four wide and then like six or seven deep so All right. Like, our whole little mushroom area here has gotten thoroughly messed up. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. I was thinking, you know, if we, since we have, I mean, I have this small building set up over here. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's welcome. We can just and then, destroy that. Basically. And then there's, yeah, this little uh, temporary structure here. And then uh, our guy Deadly Turkey, who works with you over on that Pego Studios channel, uh, set up this yeah. whole thing with us. Uh, yeah. He is, how many foundations wide is he here? Three. So it Interesting. looks like three. Right. It's like three wide and three deep. So it's like a, yeah, three by three. Because we, like anyway. we could really build this to, like, we could really build this barn to include everything that he put down oh, here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, don't know. Def how would this look as a location for a barn? Uh, over here. Um, like, if like we. On that side if or we, on if, the. If we, I don't know. Like, I would think the front would be facing this way because he's he's three wide, and mm. but he extends a little beyond three wide. So I'd have to come through here maybe. Um, hold on a sec. And so people watching, we're dealing with earthquakes. Uh, it's also 90% nighttime, 10% daytime. So apologies for building at night, but uh, either we wait hours and hours to get the day-night day cycle back, or this is what you get. Actually, it just changed to 50-50. Oh, so, okay. Interesting. Well, <laughs> we actually, we, we got lucky, man. Then for the rest of the video, you guys will be enjoying the beautiful sunlight of the aberration map. So that's four wide nice. by one, two, three, four five six geez that doesn't feel very big does it so this would no, be the foundation actually, no. size i think um and i'm messing up a little bit of what he's got going on just slapping this stuff in here well, but see, i think but I, I if think... we if so we have this big piece of stuff back here so we have two foundations in the back so we can basically just sort rearrange out. a little right yeah definitely so we okay. uh yeah we'd have to turn the uh the the grinder the industrial grinder we'd have to turn that like 90 degrees and just yeah just make like lengthwise yeah but but just for a start just for a start to sort of encapsulate all this stuff he was nice enough to drop off vaults and grinders and yeah, all that definitely. kind of stuff i think this would work and let's back up just for here hold on a sec I need some light over there um i think that would look good just based on the house the silo i think that's a good spot for the barn we have this just this big stone pillar in between us but that's almost a perfect location i think yeah, yeah, okay. it is. So the plan for the rest of the video, in the next chunk of the video, guys, we're going to do the walls together. Uh, and putting up the walls should be fairly uh, straightforward. I think I know exactly how we're doing it, but we will totally do it together. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Structures Plus uh, with a couple tiny exceptions. I'm going to use some um, some vanilla 
sloped walls and sloped roofs. Yeah, I think, honestly, man, I think that's a good start. I think we know our foundation size. We should probably get some walls, wait for morning, and, and bring people back. Yeah, man. Uh, so the one thing that we had going from the very beginning here was um, inside out walls. And there's two ways you can do that. You can just, um, here, I'll show people. You can just place a wall and hit, I think it's E by default to flip it inside out. But that kind of changes your snap points so that the ceilings aren't going to quite line up. So we're going to do uh, this method, which lets you place a ceiling on the outside. And then if you're standing on the inside looking out, you basically snap to that ceiling. Uh, so you don't have to flip anything. Ooh, and I'm getting lighter so I can move faster now. Um, and you could probably, being that we have S plus in the demo gun, you could probably do this whole process with like one, uh, one ceiling, but I grabbed enough that we can kind of do the whole thing in one go and boom. Okay. And then I got some walls to join you. And so I'm thinking we go four high, uh, with, uh, the walls, uh, except on the front and back where we're going to end up, uh, putting in entrances. Ooh, yeah. Four high is going to be the, the number. And then on the front, I'll do those right there. So do you have enough walls on you? Uh, I don't know. Probably not to get all the way around. I have a few windows and a few door frames as well. Uh, I just haven't figured out how to incorporate those. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run out of walls before I get to the end. We might need another t 10, I would think. We'll see. I'm going to be very close. Yeah, I'm going to be too short. Yep. I think size-wise that's going to be good, right? Yeah, man, it looks good. Um, okay. I'm going to uh, I'll uh So basically my next plan is, is start putting in the slopes up here, but I want to get myself up to a little bit of a higher height to make it easier. Okay. Dang it. My climbing pick skills are struggling today. Okay, perfect. Well, they're better they're better than your uh, than your grappling hook. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so this is just temporary. This will make life easier for us when we're building the upper layers of this thing. We can take it all down later. But this might be a good height for sort of a loft uh, in the place. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just need, I think uh, on the front, I'm going to use all S plus stuff. And then on the sides, I'm going to have to incorporate a little bit of uh, vanilla in order to make it work the way we want it to. Uh, boom, boom. You should go stand out front and see how that that uh that shape looks love those inside out walls though man that that really makes it and they more... take they take paint yeah. differently right like i was looking at that in my video and it's like the paint on the the one side of the wall looks very different than the paint on the other side of the wall um it's it's a it's a weird thing um and then okay so this is the point of the build where i'm going to incorporate the um the vanilla sloped walls if i can do it um and so uh on either side of this thing uh, one one in uh, from the ends, I'm going to put up a little window frame like that and like that. And then on either side of it, and it's important that these are vanilla, but uh, place sloped walls on either side. And then we're going to be attaching vanilla sloped roofs to these uh, as well. Um, ooh, and I need a little bit more. But, um, but that's the concept right there, guys. So the next step, uh, other than putting up these last couple sloped walls is the roof. And the main part of the roof uh, that will go over where I'm standing now, it's a little bit tricky. So we're definitely going to do that off camera. And at the same point, while we're off camera, we may slap some red paint on the outside of this place. Uh, so you guys can start to get a picture of what it's going to look like. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I think that's going to be the perfect size. And then we will bring you back uh, and we will work out uh, the very front of the building, sort of the the barn roof, the signature element of the thing. But I think for now, man, we have got, got a decent start on this. Yeah, we do, man. That, we really do. That came together pretty fast. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's going to look good, guys. All right, so I did the paint job off camera. I did not do the roof off camera. Uh, Dynamic D went to dinner, 
with his family. That's a totally different time zone. And I figured while he was gone, I could attempt to record the thing I thought I would do off camera, which is our roof. I don't think it will be as difficult as I led you to believe. Let's see if I can climb up. Thank you. So the trick here uh, to doing this design is a combination of Structures Plus and vanilla, or you could do it entirely in vanilla and it would work properly. But if you look here, that is a sloped wood wall left. That is an S plus sloped wood wall left. And you will find anywhere that they go like this, side by side by side, that is the way to do it. Um, uh, and I should have done that everywhere. Uh, and then I went through and added a little bit. So what happens just uh, as a painter in arc? I don't know why, there's six regions for every building piece, but if you paint the front of a sloped wall, you paint the back too. So there's no way to not have red paint here if you want red paint on the outside. So I added a little splash of red paint on region six here, those two, and on the window frames right here, so that at least it would be a line across the top. I don't know. No perfect way to do it, guys. But this building system, I mean, we're th three freaking years into this game. Make it better already. <laughs> Hello, buddy, buddy. Oh, hey, what's going on? Yeah, man. Just got back. Okay, cool. So uh, when you get back in, you will see I have slapped a paint job on the place. And then I think the roof is going to be simpler than I thought it was going to be. So my plan, and I, ooh, I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Interesting. Uh, I was going to throw a, a gate on the front of this. I can't seem to do the thing I usually do with uh, vanilla stone. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to put a uh, fence foundation uh, right along the edge of the ground. I think you and I talked about this. Um, yeah. in order to get the gate to sit a little bit lower because our building isn't really super tall. Four high would take you to the top of those things out there. Uh, and let's see what the a stone thing would look like right on here. Let's see if it can find those snap points. Maybe not. All right. I think I'm going to make a... I th hold on a sec. I'm going to make a different, uh, different uh, gate and see if I can make that work. So uh, I did, basically, you can't make, so I did two vanilla uh, fence foundations down here because those will snap to the edge of a foundation. I'm not s super familiar with um, uh, the S plus uh, fence foundations, but I can never get them to do, uh, they don't seem to snap the same way uh, that the vanilla ones do. So I went and actually made a vanilla stone gate for us here on the front. Nope. Oh, and it didn't snap quite where I wanted it to. So yeah, see how that... That's going to come up fairly high on our build here. I think we want it to sit a little bit lower. Like, nope. Okay. It's, it's showing like it's going to go there. There. So I think that's a better height. And then we'll have to probably take out one, two. Yeah. So that's perfect. So now we actually have a three by two opening instead of a four by two. I think that works perfectly. Don't you? That looks good. Uh, I think I'm gonna get up top and try and work out uh, the roof now. That's the part I thought would be super complicated. Uh, but I don't think it will be after all. So uh, I put a couple ladders on in here too. So the things that I'm gonna have on my hotbar, I will have the S plus uh, sloped wooden roofs. I will have sloped wooden roofs, uh, vanilla, and I will have some S plus ceilings. Uh, so the S plus ceilings, that's step one. I can just go ahead and slap one of these here above each of sort of the window frames. And then the real trick uh, that, that is going to make this work, up top here, uh, anywhere I have two sloped wood walls uh, kind of corner to corner, like I do in the, in the corners of the build, uh, one side is going to be S+, plus. the other side here is going to be vanilla. So on the sides of our build, the same sides, uh, basically the ones touching the window frames, those are all vanilla. And what that means is that I am going to be able to intersect... Uh, the sloped roofs. So if I uh, put my S plus version right there, then I come through with my vanilla version and they will crisscross like that in the corners. And you cannot get that to work like that uh, really any other way. So that's kind of the way to do it. So I am going to build all the way across the top of this thing with uh, the S plus um, sloped roofs. Then I am going to remove a couple just so that our windows are still effective. I'll climb myself up on the roof and uh, we will work out uh, the gables. I've been doing a bit of reorganization uh, on the inside over here. Oh, of this little shed? Yeah, man. Yep, it is uh, It is necessary. I actually I hopped in while while you were at, uh, at dinner. I hopped into uh, just the aberration chat where, where patrons are chilling uh, and talked to whoever was in there. It was Turkey and Nettie and 
Nuga, I think, and uh, I told Turkey we were going to be turning his little little temporary meth lab into a into a full size shed. And he was like, oh, I just put that there so that it would be easy for you guys to craft, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, but, I mean, I needed to build a shed today anyway. Yeah, exactly. And doing yeah. it this way works. Okay, so that's the start of it. Now I have to get up on the roof and work out uh, the vanilla part of the uh, the roofs. Okay. And I tried, actually, I tried, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was looking at what we have going on here, and I was like, okay, wood on the big barn, stone on the house. Wood on the silo. Maybe stone on this would look great. And so I built the whole roof out of stone and then remembered I can't do it because there's no vanilla stone ramp that would give us exactly. the, the yeah. barn barn roof shape that is the whole point of this build. Otherwise, it's just a big kind of not, not even that attractive house. Uh, but the barn roof, which we will show you next, guys, is the kind of the key to the whole thing. Um, so yeah, now that I'm basically having used vanilla sloped walls all along here, now I can come in easily with the vanilla uh, sloped roofs. And I can just slap it all together. And this is the part uh, dynamic that I thought would be super complicated. It's done, basically, um, the roof. And I just have one, wow, more that's fast. one more thing I want to do for people. So we went to the trouble of including windows uh, in, in the gables, in the builds up here. So those can totally be useful. I just put the walls in place, uh, or the sloped roofs in place, in order to guide me across while I kept building. But once you're done, you can come inside and remove those. And boom, your window, you should be having window window light on the inside. Uh, I, I think I think that's it for now. The next step uh, to show you guys is the actual barn roof that's going to come on the front and will mimic the shape that we have over there. I think I'm going to take a quick break, grab everything I need to show people that, and then we'll do that. And then maybe we paint the roof, and this thing's really close to done. Uh, all right, so I am going to put the barn roof on the place. And that's kind of the part, if you look over at our big barn that we're going to be working on on the weekend, where you get the two pitches, where it comes down on a 45 degree angle and then the angle gets steeper. That's kind of what makes this look like a barn. And the technique that we're going to use to do that is with uh, S plus wooden ramps and then the vanilla wooden ramps, which have a much steeper sort of pitch to them. Um, and in order to get a ramp uh, to snap where we want it to up at the top of this house where we've been using sloped roofs uh, is a wall. So I'm going to put a wall all the way at the top. And I wonder if I'm going to be able to reach this. I might be able to. All right. No, I'm going to climb up to the roof. All right. So now that I'm up here, I'm going to take first the S plus wooden ramp, which uh, will snap differently than an S plus sloped roof, but otherwise is identical. The only difference between them is the way they snap to things, right? And then the big difference uh, between them is that you can snap a vanilla uh, wooden ramp off the bottom of an S plus wooden ramp, like you cannot do here where I have the sloped roofs. Ooh, actually it's trying to. Oh, that's because there's a wall there. That's right. So I'm going to put this in and we're going to see how that looks from a distance. Something like that. And I'm going to back up and take a look. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's pretty much how this is going to have to work. So welcome back, people. When I when we left you, I was trying to decide if we needed more to this roof. And I think we do. I have yet to decide how this is going to apply to the big barn. But I really like the idea of the sloped roof coming down on the sides so that uh, these gables up here instead of looking like part of the wall, they are jutting out of a roof. Um, and so there's a couple little compromises I'm gonna make to make that happen. If you guys look right here, these two things are not lined up uh, perfectly, but they're pretty darn close and it's gonna give us the ability to do this without undoing a massive amount of our build. So uh, to get us started, and I'm going to keep you guys with me for this because I think it's gonna be manageable. Um, I'm going to get us over here and up on this thing. And by the way, climbing picks, man. I say it every episode, but uh, I love it. I can't get enough. Uh, and ooh, let me grab everything I need. I did a little temporary uh, table up here for myself. Uh, for this stage, I'm going to need some railings. I'm going to need a few thatch ceilings. And I'm going to need those wooden ramps. And I think that's it. So uh, the thing that I am doing here to make this work, guys, and you're going to have to be careful because parts of this build are vanilla. Um, so I'm going to put a ceiling there. And that's going to hold the vanilla stuff in place, and that'll allow me to pop through and take out this and this. Now, because we are using uh, Structures Plus, we have the amazing ability to do half walls, which look 
like that. Um, and so with the half wall, I can actually, I don't know if I'll be able to right out of the gate if I need a ceiling in place first, but yes, with the half wall, I can snap directly to that, uh, like so. And you can see, like I said, it's not the perfect, it doesn't line up perfectly, but it lines up close enough that it will not bother me. And then you come in once you've done that and you go with another uh, railing, which you can turn into a, another half wall. And then it looks like this is just coming out of the, uh, the thing. And so once that's done, I think I can take this out and nothing will collapse. Correct. Um, so we'd have to come back through here with a little more uh, spray paint in order to get this all to look right. Um, and then I have decided, I think the barn is going to stay a dark color. We ended up going with, um, let's see. Okay, good. That works. I wasn't sure how paint would work on a, uh, sloped on a half wall. I still don't know how paint works on a half wall. What happened here? There we go. Okay. Perfect. 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 Maybe there was some lag. See, I'm in. Can you come around, uh, come around to the side I'm working on? Oh, you are. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was just that over looks, there. So that, that's, so that's, oh, I'll be back. Uh, off the edge? Yeah, like over the side of the, uh, like out of the, out of the back of the house, basically. Potentially. Oh, but, man, I missed it. Potentially, it. <laughs> potentially I flew and managed to squeeze between the, the silo and the rock. And now I'm, oh, wow. now I'm running up from over here. Okay, but this is perfect for me because I can see the barn from this direction. I'm behind you now. That's what. I, right. That's kind of what I wanted, man. So that those yeah. gables are sticking out, and they don't look like they're part of the wall so much as they look like they're part of the roof. So I think I'm going to take that technique and continue it around. Yeah, man. I think that is way better. Yeah, I like that. It's yeah. a. It's a. It's almost now like a. You know how before I was saying I wished I'd gone a little. Ooh, there's a couple little things I need to paint under here. Do you see that? Yeah, um, I saw. I saw. I was like, okay, I wasn't a, sure if you. Oh, and outside. I'm gonna do that from the inside, but um. But yeah, man, that looks good. Uh, yeah, those were, I just couldn't get to those once the railing was placed on there. But I from the inside, I should be able to paint all of those pretty easily. Um, and then the roof, we just did a little mud paint on the sort of horizontal bits of wood. And then you can see the slight difference in the two ceiling, or the two slopes right here, where this one comes down maybe two boards further. Um, I made sure we kind of kept that line across all the way to the middle until you get to the ends here. Nothing really you can do to, to uh, improve that or change it. I think it's subtle enough that you don't notice it. And then from the front, I mean, that looks like a barn, dude. I th I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, and the, like like you were saying, the overall look of this. Oh, all the spike walls down, man. That's great. We're freeing up space. We should get some refertilizer, restore our little mushroom house, give Ooh, that a little yeah, paint job. Um, but should, yeah. but the whole thing looks good. Like these all have slight variations on each other, right? different use of materials like this is a oh i did use a stone gate here stone gate wood yeah wood uh, stone gate frame wood gate but this one has a uh, stone on the bottom this one has stone on the bottom with pillars going up and wood pillars there this one we didn't bother with stone on the bottom uh and i think it looks good like that and then the barn is going to have stone coming up a couple walls high on it and i think when we get to the barn we will end up taking this technique that we just uh, pioneered there those words came out of my mouth weird, but that we just pioneered. Uh, and I think we'll try and do it here so that we don't have this where the wall doesn't quite come to the edge. I think yeah. we'll continue the technique so that the wall comes past the edge and our big barn will have gables somewhat similar to this one. Either we yeah. do them three wide and have the flat spot on top or we just do little two wide peaks um, if we think that'll look good. Man, I'm happy. So am I, man. This is looking so cool. If, especially if you just get like the house the house and the little barn it's just in one frame yeah and so you don't you so you leave the big one out basically. yes like stand over here that is that is cool man we're good okay cool man i think that is a that is a project complete i feel good about that guys we did it i think this barn looks truly fantastic i'm going to show you the uh, absolute finishing touches and the whole idea of this was to work out the details before taking on my saturday live stream for that barn 
a shout out to Dynamic D, link for his channel Pego Studios in the description for all the help he gives me, and I added finishing touches like some upside down sloped walls up there painted red, and I made sure all the red paint stayed at one level and didn't come below. I think that makes a huge difference on how the inside looks, and I, I had to hang some walls down from above, and I actually boxed them in there and added in this, my favorite feature, the pillar and catwalk combo. I think when we get to the big barn, which for me is in the future, uh, these are going to be a key feature to making it look real and making it look epically huge. But for you guys, the Saturday live stream is in the past. So popping up on your screen right now is a link to this week's Saturday morning arc with UTC in which we work on this barn again. Also popping up on your screen is a link to my aberration collection. Uh, my ginger face, which you can click on to subscribe. And if you are interested in joining a community of geeks and builders, click on the link for the Patreon and check that out. But guys, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I promise I will see you in the next episode of Arc Aberration. <laughs>